What's going on guys? You are checking out QGN HQ. I am your host Chris and today yet again is another special day and that's because a good friend of mine, Asad Nakfi, Twitter handle at Asad1087, go follow him, uh, has hooked me up with my very first drone. This is the Phantom 3 Professional Drone by DJI. This thing is sweet. It has 4K video, I mean GPS track, the whole thing is just, I, I can't wait. So you know what we're going to go do right now? We're going to unbox it and then we're going to fly it. So let's get into it. This is the Phantom 3 Professional Drone by DJI. The front of the box you're greeted with the words Phantom 3 Professional, a picture of the drone, five logos stating it has GPS, vision positioning system, three axis stabilized camera, long range HD view, and 4K recording. The other side, you have the DJI logo. The back of the box is the same as the front. And the other side, it gives you a little bit more in detail of what the actual drone has. So let's get into that. The key things are the 4K at 30 frames, the 1080p at 60 frames, the fact that you could view this thing through your phone at 1.25 miles, and the 23 minute battery life. Like always, I will link down below where you can purchase this. Right now this drone retails for $1,259 on Amazon. It's kind of expensive, but uh, I hear good things. Automatically you are greeted with a manual on top. I will obviously get into that a little bit later. So let's uh, take this off and see what's under this cardboard. Okay, it's a top view. It looks like it's just the uh, drone itself, the remote control, two boxes, and a bag. So let's see what's inside. First, I'm going to grab the remote and take a look at that. I'm going to go into detail everything afterwards. Just going to give you a quick overview. The remote is actually really light, and it's a lot bigger than I expected. You have a DJI nice little carry sleeve here, which I think is really, really nice. I believe these are the blades. Yeah, these are the blades inside. And they give you extra blades, so it, it takes uh, four blades total. The camera is the first thing you notice on the actual drone itself. Uh, the holster that's supposed to be holding it obviously is not put on there too well. But automatically you can see the quality on this camera is really, really good. Like I said before, the camera can shoot at 4K 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second. The three access Stabilized camera for smooth shooting. You can see here that nothing's going to disrupt the actual camera while it is flying, which I do like a lot. And on the side of the camera, it comes stock with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Next, inside the box, you're greeted with a small accessory box, which comes with one tool, I believe, and it should come with some extra grommets and some plastic if you want to change the 3-axis stabilizer. The next thing you have here is the actual power AC adapter which you could charge, I believe, both controller and drone at the same time. The first cable that I am greeted with is a small 3-inch regular USB cable. And this is the AC adapter itself and just the extender. On the back of the drone, here is the battery pack with directions on how to turn it on. Two clips down to pull it out like a magazine clip very, very easily. Over here on the side of the actual battery is where you would actually charge it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. I'm going to plug that in simultaneously while I have the remote charging. So let's get into the remote and see what this thing actually has on it. First thing you notice on the remote is the actual extender or the phone grip itself. I have an iPhone 6 Plus which fits in here perfectly fine. Uh, you have the on button, return to home. You can use the GPS to bring the, the uh, drone right back to you. Decent grips on the side. A record now button, various flight options buttons on the top of the remote, which you could change using the app. You could use Apple and Android, obviously. On the back of it, you have a C1 and C2 button, which you could change also, and the USB port to go to your phone on top. Inside the manual, it comes with various colors and stickers, so you could customize the drone. Uh, in the manual, it tells you how to install everything. Make sure you just follow the color coordinations on the blades, and make sure you tighten them very, very tight, as it says here on this warning label. So as the remote and the battery are charging, I'm going to give you a quick 360 of the drone. Just make sure these are on tight. They have little directions on the blades. It's very, very easy. This thing is very, very lightweight. Um, even with the battery in it, I believe it can go almost 20 miles an hour, maybe 16. So let's uh, take this thing out, fly it, and hopefully we don't end up crashing it. Taking off now.
207 feet um, distance of about 260 feet it's way up there can't even see it That's a wrap. What do you think of that? It's really good. <laughs> really, really cool. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. It's official. It's official. That is badass. So, like always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. See you on the next one.